Oh, well, hello. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to add images to our P5 sketch, which is pretty cool. But before we do that, we learn all the code that we're going to need to add images. I, I have to say, I've actually been hiding something from you. There's actually this little arrow button right here. And if you press this arrow, which you should do right now, you see that actually there's all these files here that have been hiding from you. All right, you can put it back like that. And these files are all the files in your project. Now we've always just focused on sketch.js and JS means the JavaScript. We've been doing a lot of JavaScript. That's what you've been learning right now. There's also an index.html, which is related to actually like website design and style that CSS that has to do with styling a web page. So these have been here the whole time. These are all the files in your project. And we've just been focusing on one of them. If we want to put images in our sketch though, what we need to do is add the image files here. And I'll show you how to do that. But first we need to find a nice image to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an image. I'm going to use Pickle Rick because who doesn't love Pickle Rick from Rick and Morty? I'm going to find a picture of Pickle Rick that works. This one looks awesome. And when you find the image that you want, click on it. All right. Click the one. should pop up on the right. Um, well, where'd the one go? I, I found it and now it's gone. Oh, here we go. I like this guy. And you can use image, any image you want. I'm just happy to use Pickle Rick. And what you're going to do is you're going to double click and you're going to save your image. And what you should do is rename it something kind of easy to, to type out. I'm going to call mine Pickle. Oops, let me see. You probably can't see that. Let's move this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to call this Pickle-Rick. Now, to be clear, when you're naming your files, you cannot have spaces. So it would not be cool if I did that. That would not work. That's bad. You can use dashes, underscores, um, but you cannot use spaces whenever you're named. No spaces. It'll break it. Okay. So I'm going to call mine pickle Rick, pickle dash Rick, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Um, okay. And the next thing is, what we're going to do is actually load this into our project. Okay. We're going to download that image into our project. So I'm going to click this little arrow right here by sketch files. I'm going to add an image. Now, all you have to do is find that image. It might be in downloads for you. Mine happens to be on the desktop. That's where I saved it. You got to find that image and you're going to load it in. And you'll see that it loads up like that and it turns black. And once that's happened, you see this whole bar turn black. You're going to X out and you'll see, look, it's right here. It's actually been added in. Beautiful. So now that we've got this in, uh, we can actually start drawing it on our P5 sketch. So I'm going to close out these files for now. You could always reaccess it by going like that, but you got your files right here. Actually, I'll keep it open. So now to actually add the image, the first thing we're going to do is first, we are going to make a variable to hold our image. So I'm going to say let pickle Rick. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. I'm happy to use it, pickle Rick. It does not have to match the name of your file. This could be anything. I could have called this cat's rock. All right, you're just making a variable, whatever you want to name it. So but it makes most sense to call it with whatever it's going to be. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, we've never done before. All right. We're going to actually use this thing, a function called preload. All right. And you're going to have to type this out. It's called function preload. This is something for P5. And what the preload function does is that it actually preloads the image into memory. Now, why do we have to do this? All right. If we were to just say like, oh, let's put our image right here straight into draw. What would happen is we might get an error because these images can be very big. And if the images haven't been loaded into memory before it starts trying to draw it, well, things break. So we use this thing called preload to actually load all our image into the memory before we start running our sketches and then we could draw it. I know this might not make any sense, but just trust me, you want to make this function called preload. So it's function preload. Per, curl, I mean, sorry, parentheses and then the curly braces. Inside your preload function is where we're going to preload our image. So you're going to take pickle Rick, which is your empty variable right now. And you're going to set it equal to create image. Okay. And what you do is in these parentheses, you type out the name of your image. Mine happens to be right here. Pickle dash Rick dot png and I press play. You'll notice it actually pops up here. The thing is it just pops up on top. 
it's not where I want it to be. All right, so we actually have to do a few more things. Now, by the way, if you spell anything wrong, it will not show up. Let's say I forgot my dash, not there. So if you're having, and you get this little undefined, if that's happening to you, you probably spelled your, your image wrong, okay? So you gotta spell this perfectly right. So anyway, this is on top of our canvas, which is not good. This is not where I want it. So I'm gonna show you now how to move your image onto the canvas, all right? So what we're going to do is we're gonna run this command. We're going to say, uh, pickle Rick, which is the variable that has our image stored in it. And we're going to set the position of it by saying dot position. And inside these two positions, inside the dot position in this parentheses, we put the coordinate where we want the top left hand corner to be, just like with other rectangles. So I want it to be at 100, 100 on the canvas. So now when I press play, you'll notice that at 100, 100, you'll see my top left hand corner. See, easy as pie. But here's the deal. This image is a little bit big for my sketch. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to actually start this at, I don't know. Oh, sorry. So what I'm actually going to do is make it smaller. To adjust the size of it, you have to run another thing. So you say pickle rick dot size. And what we're gonna do is adjust the size. Right now, I don't know how big this thing is, but I want it to be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make it 100 by 100 also. Actually, let's make it 150 by 150. All right, so that means 150 pixels by 150 pixels. And you'll see it gets a lot smaller. You could do 50 by 50 pixels, which would be even smaller. Oop, that's pretty small. Or you could do 250 by 250, right? And it's 250 pixels, that's the width. And you can mess with these if you want and distort the image, do all sorts of things, 20 by 50, ugh. But let's get this back to its, let's put this back to 150. I thought that looked the nicest. And if you want to move this, you can move it all about. You can put it at 0, 100. You can put it at 200, 100, right? This will change the position. So that's all you need to know for today. Let's just go over the steps again. You make a variable. All right, well, first, sorry, step one, you find your image. Step two, make your variable. Step three, function preload, all right? And this is where you preload it. And step four, that's where you actually set the position and the size. Now, if you wanted to do another image, you don't need another preload function, just to be clear. So let's say we did another image. So let's say I did, uh, I don't know, uh, Rick and Morty. Let's do some more images from there. I go with images. Uh, this looks like a cool one. Let's say I get this. Okay. I'm going to put this into my project. Boom. It's loaded. You'll see I got rick.jpg here. If I wanted this other file there, so first I would remember, once again, I added my file to my project. I made a variable. I'm going to call it rick. Now, here's the deal. I don't have to do another rick in my preload, okay? I mean, I don't need another preload function. I could just put the, another image inside the preload function. So you don't need more than one preload function. In fact, you can't have more than one preload function. You put all of your images in here. So now I'd say Rick is equal to create image uh, in quotes, rick.jpg. All right. And then once again, if you'll see that it shows up on top, right? That kind of messes up everything. So we want to set the position and size of it. So I'm going to say rick.position. And I'm going to put it at zero, zero. And I'm going to say rick.size to set the size of it. And I only want this to be 100 by 100. And now you'll see a second image on there. Ooh. And that's how it's done. All right. Okay, so that's really the end of the video this time. Now you should know how to add as many images to your sketches as you want. Add whatever you want. Have some fun. And now that you're done, remember, kiss your mother when you get home and start on your coding activity. Peace out.